some guy with a camera comes in with a question regarding RAM upgrades with his new awesome CPU. Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. He took our advice, upgraded the Ryzen 5 2600 to the Ryzen 9 5900X to run his RX 6800. He had a wow experience, thanks. Still using a 16 gig kit, so he wants to know, should I get two of the 30 gig, two of the 32 gig kits or one of the 64 gig kit? Well, first of all, yes, going from six Zen Plus cores to 12 Zen 3 cores is a huge upgrade. <laughs> Not what this is about, but yes, that is a massive upgrade and that is awesome. So to address the RAM, there's several components I wanna talk about here. And of course the answer is, as usual, it depends. You've got a 16 gig kit. He wants to go to 64. So his question is, does he get two 32 gig kits, which do cost less, or a single 64 gig kit? I want to talk about RAM upgrades in general for everybody who may be watching this and then sort of be more a little bit more specific right here. First of all, let's say he only wanted to go to 32 gigs and he has 16, maybe he has two eights. And he was he wants to know, do I buy two, two, two more eights for a total of 32? And this does have a relation to his question because the answer there would typically be no. Don't mix your RAM kits. Don't mix RAM kits not bought at the same time. And we've got a bite-sized tech on specifically on that topic. If you if you buy, say, 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 CL16 uh, G Skill Rip Jaws 5 RAM, and your three-year-old kit is a 16 gig G Skill Rip Jaws 5. DDR4 3200 CL16, it would be very easy to say, well, they're exactly the same memory. I'll just buy another one, put them together, it's fine. Odds are, they are not the same memory. They may not even be made by the same company. What are you talking about? It says G-Skill right on the, on, the, on the heat spreader. Yeah, G-Skill doesn't make RAM. Corsair doesn't make RAM. Team Group doesn't make RAM. Samsung, SK Hynix, and Micron make RAM. That's it. All these companies that you see on the name of the RAM package, they're integrators. They buy the RAM chips, they put them on PCBs, they put pretty heat sinks on them, maybe RGB, and they sell them in retail. So what you say is one could be Samsung die, one could be Micron die. Yes, even though work. they both say rip jobs. I actually have three different Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM kits. One is Samsung, one is... Um, SK Hynix, and one is a different revision of that. And they actually have, uh, Corsair puts revision numbers on their memory modules. But it's never advertised when you go to Amazon or Newegg what yeah. it is. I've looked at it, and if you type and look it up, you go, oh, this one is version 4.3, and that one's version 3.2, and this is whatever. And if you look at the physical memory module, you can see. But many memory modules are not labeled. And it's not until you put it in a machine, you pull up CPU-Z and you look at the information, you actually see what is the module that you see what it is. Now, odds are, if you go buy two memory kits at the same time from the same place, if you go to Newegg right now and you buy two 32 gig DDR4 3200 CL16 uh, G-Skill Rip Jaws 5, that's a mouthful, it is. kits. The guy at the Newegg warehouse will walk over to the shelf, of which they've got a big box stuffed of RAM kits. Mm -hmm. They were all shipped in the same box. They all come from the same batch. They were shipped from the factory at the same time. So highly likely they're the same dog. He'll grab two in a row. He'll put them in the box. They're probably exactly the same RAM. And if you take those two RAM kits and you stick them in the machine, 99 plus times out of 100, it will be fine. It'll work. Unless you are running at the max supported. DDR4 3200 is not the max supported by Zen 3. 3600 is the ideal, 4000 will work. Then you gotta start messing with the Infinity Fabric one to one versus two to one ratio and you don't wanna mess with that. 3600 30, is the most. 
I don't have a problem mixing two 3200 RAM kits on Zen 2 or Zen 3. I do have a problem mixing two 3600s. If you want 3600, buy one RAM kit. If you're okay with 3200, you can mix two. And he didn't say what he was looking at. The same operates true on the older ones. We live stream to YouTube using a Ryzen 7 2700X. Yep, it's right there. There's 32 gigs of RAM in there, and it's mixed kits. It's two 16 gig kits. I have them turned down to 2666. Because first of all, for live streaming, the RAM speed doesn't matter. But second, at 3200, it's flaky. At 3000, it's okay. But at 2266, solid. I just don't have to care. And you need solid when you're streaming. For those of you who stream, you understand that. It Compatibility means more at that point. And those RAM kits are from different companies and different configure. I mean, they're completely different RAM kits made at different times. They were just ones I had on the shelf. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm setting to uber compatible mode. There you go. So if you're, if you're upgrading and buying RAM kits at different times from different places, I don't like to mix unless you're willing to come way down on speeds. If they're 3,200 kits on Zen 3 and you're willing to go down to 3,000 and they were bought at different times, then it's fine. This is why it's an it depends answer. And this is, is. why we, I, I get asked this kind of question all the time. And everybody, of course, wants the three word answer. Yes, it works or no, it doesn't. Fine. Never mix RAM kits. There's your simple answer. There's your TLDR. Never mix RAM. But you can if, if you slow the speed down, if you take these points into account. So how do you answer the other bit of his question? 232 gigs? gigs kits or 164? If he's buying 3200, I don't have any problem with him mixing kits. If he wants 3600, buy one kit. Which means buy the 64 gigs if you're going 36 or the 32. Right. And one of the reasons for this, mind you, if you buy a DDR4 3600 CL18 kit, it was tested and certified at the factory by itself. They do not test RAM mixed. So when you get it, the timings work for that setup. When you add two more modules on the board, you add stress to the memory controller on the CPU because now it has to send signals to four sets of memory traces instead of two. It's true. It is harder to get four modules to work at a given speed. If you buy a 64 gig kit, whether it's two or four modules, it was tested that way. And it's assured to work that way. And your warranty supports that. And if you call them up and say, hey, this RAM's not working, they'll send you another one. If you mix RAM kits, all they're gonna tell you is, did you did you take you know take out one kit? Oh well now it works. So do it that way. So that's how it's tested. Yeah. So if you want assured compatibility, ne always buy a complete kit and replace them as complete kits. Even using the QVL. Well the QVL always assumes you're only using the tested kit. You're never mixing kits because they were tested that way. In fact, if you look at the QVL, you'll often see that as the speeds go up, the number of modules you can install goes down. Correct. There's a reason for that. Yeah. Hopefully that answers your question, and hopefully that helps a bunch of you who didn't ask the question as well. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.